Good morning, children. Welcome back to online classes. Let me continue. Fourth lesson: Birds. Birds have many parts. We will continue. Feet and claws. Feet and claws. Page number forty. Go, my children. Birds have different types of feet and claws. Birds use their claws and feet to hold food. Birds have two feet. Foot has three or four toes. <clears throat> Birds have many features. Let me see one by one. First one, praying birds. Examples: vulture, or eagle. Second one. Perching birds, crow, crow, sparrow, pigeon. Third one, scratching. Birds, hen, peacock. Fourth one, climbing. Birds, example, woodpecker and parrot. Fifth one, swimming, birds or aquatic birds. Example, swan. Sixth one, wading, birds. Example, crane. Seventh one, running. Running. Birds. Ostrich. And. Emu. Okay. See. Page number 40. Birds. Birds have different types of feet. And claws. Birds use their claws and feet to hold the food. Birds have two feet. Foot has two, sorry, three or four toys. Birds have many features. See, seven features are there here. One is praying birds. Example, bachelor, owl and eagle. Praying birds. Let me see one by one. Praying birds, flesh eating birds. Praying birds, flesh eating birds are called praying birds. They have sharp and curved claws are called talons. They use their toes. They use their toes to catch small birds. Okay, that is called praying birds. Praying birds, vulture or an eagle. Okay, second one, perching birds, crow, sparrow and pigeon. Perching birds, they have feet with three toes in the front, one is behind. Three toes in the front, one is behind. That is called perching 
birds. Such feet help them to hold on to a branch. Okay. Now third one. Scratching birds. Example, hen and peacock. Scratching birds. Scratching birds have thin feet. Scratching birds having thin feet with sharp and hard claws. Sharp and hard claws. They have three long toes in the front and short toes at the back. Can you see these pictures? Can you see? These toes help them to dig the ground and find food. Because also use their toes to dig out food than the ground. They have scratching birds. They have thin feet with sharp and hard claws. They have three toes, three long toes in the front and short toes at the back. Now four. Now fourth one is climbing birds, woodpecker and parrot. <clears throat> climbing birds, these birds have two toes in the front. These birds have two toes in the front and two toes at the back. Three toes in the front, two toes in the back. They toes help them to climb tree. I hold the branches. Can you see these pictures? See children. Now, next to No. Climbing birds. These also help the birds to balance themselves while climbing. Now, fifth one. Swimming birds and aquatic birds. Usually, they have webbed feet. Swimming birds usually they have webbed feet. They have three toes in the front. They are three toes in the front. They have three toes in the front. They are called joined by skin. They are joined by skin. Such webbed feet help them to push back water while Swimming. Okay. Usually they have webbed feet. They have three toes in the front. They are joined by skin or web. Now, sixth one, wedding, wedding birds. Example, crane. Wedding birds, they have four toes in the front. They have four toes in the front and one at the back. One, four toes in the front, one is back. Toes are thin, never get caught in the soft mud. Okay, crane has long leg with spread out toes. Toes, these help them to walk in the shallow water. This is called budding. Okay, now running birds. Running birds, page number 42. Okay. Ostrich is a fast runner bird. Ostrich is a fast runner, runner bird. It has long and strong leg. It has long and strong leg. It has two legs. Examples ostrich and emu. Feet and claws, seven features are they. One is praying birds, examples, vulture or eagle. Perching birds, crow, sparrow, pigeon. Scratching birds, hen, peacock. Climbing birds, woodpecker and parrot. Swimming birds, swan. Budding birds, crane. Running birds, Ostrich and emu. These features are feet and claws. Okay. Now.
Now revise and recall. Now revise and recall. So, page number 42. Page number 42. Revise and recall. State whether the following statement are true or false. First one here. Four true or false are there. Let me see one by one. The clause of perching words are called talons. It is true. You have to write the given box, no? You have to write their children. Okay, the clause of perching words are called talons. Second one, the woodpecker has two toes in the front and two toes at the back. It is true. Okay. Now, third one. Bunting birds have webbed feet. It is wrong. False. Emu is a runner. Emu is a runner. It is true. Right children then. Now, next heading, where do birds leave? Where do birds leave? The place where birds live with their young ones is called nest. Birds may build their nest at the various places like tree. Roof houses on the ground. Birds may build their nest in the various places and different places. Okay. Birds live with their Young one is called next. Okay. Next point. Birds uses grass, straw, dry leaves. Pigs, pieces, pieces of clothes, clothes, paper, iron, threads, two. Build the nest. Now, third column is birds to protect the eggs and Ones from bad weather and enemies. Okay, let me re see one by one. Where do birds leave? Where do birds? Birds leave. 
birds may build their nest at various places like tree roof houses on the ground okay birds lives with their young one is called nest birds uses birds uses grass straw dry leaves twigs pieces of cloth paper and thread to build their nest birds to protect their eggs birds to protect their eggs and young ones from bad weather and enemies some birds are here let me see one by one birds may one here some birds are there first one tiger bird first one is tiger bird tiger bird tiger bird use its beak as a needle leaves thread and soft material tailor bird used to their nest use it beak as a needle leaves thread and soft material now second bird beaver bird beaver bird Beaver bird use its beak to build a strong cup-shaped nest. Cup-shaped nest using twigs and dry grass. Beaver bird use twigs and dry grass. Okay. Now third one. Wood. Woodpecker. Woodpecker makes hole in the tree trunk. Woodpecker makes holes in the tree trunk with beak to make a nest. Woodpecker makes hole in the tree with beak to make a nest. Now, fourth one, pigeon. Sir, penguin. Penguins. Penguins make their nest on the ground. Make their nest on the ground. They live in cold places. Penguins live in cold places. Difficult to find big sign grass in such places. Okay. Now. Fifth one. All parrot and hornbills build their all parrot and hornbills build their nest mostly in the hollow places of wall or trees. Okay. Now sixth one. Cuckoo. Cuckoo bird. Cuckoo bird does not make a nest. Cuckoo bird does not make a nest. It lay it eggs in the crow's nest. It lays in the crow's nest. The crow looks after its eggs and babies. Now, seventh one, kingfisher. King. Fisher. King Fisher makes a canal shaped nest. It dig a long canal on the bank of a river or pond. It makes its nest cozy by spreading fish bones on it. 
where do birds live one is tailor bird weaver bird woodpecker penguin all like parrot cuckoo king fisher okay now caring for the young one page number 43 caring for the and ones mother bird feeding its young ones mother bird feeding its young ones it protect from bad weather and enemies it protect from bad weather and enemies they take care of their young ones they take care of young ones until they develop feathers until they develop feathers i learn to fly once the babies hatch out they cannot fly as they are weak feather less and cannot see okay mother bird feeding its young ones it protect from it protect from bad weather right enemies they take care of their young ones until they develop feathers and learn to fly okay now page number 44 page number 44 now keywords page number 44 here keywords are there see one by one talons talons the sharp and curved claws of flesh eating birds talons the sharp and curved claws of flesh eating birds now second one flight muscles flight muscles muscles that attach to wings to the birds body and help in flying flight muscles muscles that attach to wings to the birds body and helping in the in flying next one up stroke the movement of wings in upward and backward directions the movement of wings in the upward and backward directions now down stroke the movement of wings in downward and forward directions the movement of wings in downward and forward directions now next next the place the place where the birds live with their young ones the place where the birds live with their young ones See summary. You see here birds. Birds body parts. We are given body part parts feathers, flight body down. Feathers, flight body. down beak 
beak your beak hooked sharp example vulture curved example parrot woodpecker hard slider example hope straw like example hummingbird short time strong example pigeon beak with strainer example duck short time bird example shallow now here three time clause three time clause praying example eagle perching example crow scratching example hen climbing example woodpecker swimming example swan budding example crane runner running example ostrich or emu birds okay let me see exercise page number page number 45 exercise a fill in the blanks using the correct words so here five filling fill in the blanks are they we will write on the board one by one you have to write on textbook okay one birds have dash feet birds have two feet birds have two feet heron and crane are examples of dash birds second one heron and crane are examples of budding birds budding birds third dash feathers help the birds to fly dash feathers help the birds to fly fly fourth one flesh eating birds are called dash birds flesh eating birds are also called praying birds praying birds fifth one dash does not make a nest dash does not make a nest cuckoo birds right guys children first one two feet but second one budding birds flight feathers praying birds cuckoo does not make a nest now b state the following statement true or false first one you have five true or false are they one let me see one by one the types of bee a bird has depends on its feeding habits it is true second one humming bird has long pointed and straw like beak true third one flight feathers are present mostly on the wings and tail of a bird true fourth one all birds make a nest and live in it 
first. 5th one. As soon as the babies hatch out of the eggs, they fly away. Pause. Write it, children. Now, see. Give two examples for each of the following. Here, five, five examples are there. One, birds with sharp and hooked beak. One is a eye. Out. Second one. Birds with board and flat beak with strainer. Duck and goose. Third one. Praying birds. Mother and vulture. Fourth one, climbing birds, parrot, hind, wood, pecker. Fifth one, birds that build shallow nests on the ground, bowl, hind, Right, your children. In today's class, we have finished this birds lesson. Okay. Feet and claws. Seven features are there. One is praying birds, perching birds, scratching birds, climbing birds, swimming birds, wedding birds and running birds. Okay. Here, tailor bird, beaver bird, woodpecker, penguin, all parrot, cuckoos, King, uh, Kingfisher. We have seen these all birds caring for the young ones and key birds. Exercise we have finished in the in this class. Okay. Last one project work I will give. You have to draw different types of feet and claws. Okay. Thank you.